Hey, I'm Griffin Gonzalez here in Indianapolis. A couple of weeks ago, the City County Council decided to establish a plan adopting Vision Zero. Its goal, eliminate all traffic related deaths within a decade. The question is, where do they start and how long will it take? It's a problem that has a solution. And the first step in, in solving a problem is admitting that you have one. Some call it a pedestrian crisis. According to the Indy Metro Planning Organization, in 2023, there were 684 total fatal and non-fatal traffic crashes in Indianapolis. With three months to go in 2024, there have already been 645. The hit and run numbers, highest in over a decade. August and September have been the two worst months we've tracked since we started this in May of 2022. So uh, things are certainly not getting any better. They are getting worse. It's not unique to the city of Indianapolis. It is, uh, uh, we're seeing these cri this crisis across the country. In August, the city passed Vision Zero. Its goal, eliminate traffic injuries and fatalities. A multi-sector approach of bringing folks together and taking uh, actionable steps over time to get to zero fatalities and serious and serious bodily injuries. Later this month, 15 members of the Vision Zero Task Force will hold their first meeting to discuss how Indy's roads could be made safer. We need to take an inventory of what we are doing well, what we're already doing, and see where those gaps are. Indy Pedestrian Crisis is concerned that the implementation of these plans may take too long. You know, it's great to focus on both the long-term policy, like Vision Zero, Zero, um, but there are a lot of short term um, things that we could be doing to get a handle on this. Even if we had all the resources necessary to do it right now, we can't physically change our roadways today to make our roadways completely safe. So I just ask that you stay with us. The first public meeting will be held October 23rd at the City County Building. Reporting downtown, Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV.